Welcome to Groningen, the largest city in the north of the Netherlands with its 200,000 inhabitants, over 30,000 of whom are students. The people of Groningen cycle a lot and the city is again a finalist to become Cycling City of the Netherlands. Groningen was the first city to have a really large bicycle parking facility at its main station. A huge concrete deck under which there was room to park over 4,000 bicycles when it was opened in 2007. This has been expanded until a new structure had to be built for even more bicycles. Like any city in the Netherlands, Groningen has good infrastructure. We can find one-way cycle tracks on either side of roads and there are also two-way cycle tracks. For the really good stuff, you have to go further out. In 1977, the city divided the city centre in four compartments. To get from one to the other, motor traffic had to use a ring road. A revolution at the time. The city got rid of most of the motor traffic in the centre that way. But that ring road did not get any cycling infrastructure and that was apparently never changed in those 40 years, leading to potential conflicts between motor traffic and cycling. The streets in the centre have low motor traffic volumes, but they did not become entirely car free. These streets still look like car territory to me. If cyclists would at least have priority, but there don't seem to be any cycle streets yet in this city. Roundabouts are also scarce. The only one I encountered was not built to current design specifications. Groningen has almost no protected intersections. Instead, it has an all directions green system. This is not commonly used in the rest of the country. It leads to a lot of conflicts between people cycling in the different directions. It also leads to extra green cycles, which prolongs the total signal cycle. That is perhaps also why the green time is kept so short, which in turn leads to the signals almost always being red when you approach an intersection. In the 1977 traffic circulation plan, the buses were exempt. They still go right through the city centre. I don't know any other Dutch city where large buses use such narrow streets in such high numbers. It leads to an incredible number of bus-bike conflicts that really make me cringe sometimes. Apparently the people in Groningen are used to it. They ride in high numbers using all kinds of vehicles, day and night, to all kinds of destinations. Bicycles parked in front of the cinemas, bars, restaurants and theatres are telling. The main route to one of the university areas is marked. The route didn't quite feel like a main cycle route though, more like a quiet route through back streets. Once further out, it turned into a real cycle route, but there it was too narrow. The route is not coherent, switching from space shared with cars to separated cycle tracks and vice versa. The state of maintenance was not very good either. A main crossing was very clearly not designed for the current volumes. A lot of scary conflicts at this location. So don't I have anything good to say about Groningen? I do. The new train station Europa Park is great. A wide, separate path leading to an open underpass. The square hides a beautiful bicycle parking facility. The stairs have grooves to be able to walk down with your bike. But I saw a lot of people doing that in just a few minutes. That can only mean that a vital connection is missing. Groningen has a lot of cycling, and it was ahead of its time years ago. But you need to keep investing in cycling, and although Groningen does that at points, it also seems to have missed a number of new developments. That is why I can only conclude that Groningen should not become Cycling City of the Netherlands in 2016. <laughs>